What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. So today we're gonna to be talking about six signs that she wants to have sex with you. Women will very rarely explicitly come out and say that they wanna have sex with you. Okay, then maybe they'll tell their friends, I don't know, but like they rarely will come out and actually tell you. And it's because women are more into the innuendos, they're more into being indirect and that sort of thing. If she tells you that she wants to have sex with you, it's probably like a million things that she did before then that didn't work. You can't take a hint and she's like, all right, I'm just gonna like throw a Hail Mary on this one. Uh, so it very rarely happens. These are a lot more common and these are the more important ones uh, that I've seen, but I'm sure there's more and I'm sure you guys can come up with stuff. If you think of anything more, just put it in the comment section below. All right, cool. Oh, and by the way, just because you get these signs doesn't mean she's ready to have, have sex right this second, <laughs> okay? You still gotta do the stuff that I talk about on this channel. All right, thing one, she moves with you. People will lie all the time with their mouths, but they will rarely lie with their actions. If you are at a, maybe you're at a party or an event or whatever it is, and then you say, hey, I'm gonna go to the bar and get a drink. Do you wanna come with? She comes with you. Then you say, hey, I'm gonna go sit down for a second. She comes and sits down with you. Okay, you've moved around a little bit or maybe you go to a different area and she follows you, she comes with you. This means that she's interested in you. Women very rarely will follow a guy that they're not attracted to sexually, okay? <laughs> unless they're, you know, unless he's giving her money or shit or something like that. <laughs> okay, number two, she's hanging around you. Um, basically, again, maybe you're at a social event, I don't know, but you're constantly running into her, she's constantly kind of hanging around you, maybe she shows up at the same parties that you do all the time, okay? Not a for sure sign, but if it's happening consistently where she's, you can kind of see her around you and maybe she's giving you a glance here and there, this probably means that she's attracted to you, sexually too, okay? Three, she tells you what she's doing. All right, if she tells you what she's doing and asks what you're doing, that's a pretty good sign that she wants you to know more about her and she wants to know more about you. Intimacy is being known, okay? If, she's, if she wants you to know her and wants to know more about you, that means she wants to be more intimate with you. And sex is one form of intimacy. It's probably the most intimate way you can be um, physical with somebody, okay? Because you're, you're seeing all their parts, you're actually being inside that person. I mean, that's an incredibly intimate thing. But when she's doing this, what she's saying is she's, maybe you'll be texting back and forth, it'll be like, ha ah, ha ha, like nice and funny, and then she'll hit you with like a, hey, what are you doing? Okay. Or maybe she says, oh, I'm, you know, I'm here in the house right now wearing blah, 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 blah. You know, she wants you to know more about her. Or she tells you she's alone at home. Like that's the biggest sign right there. <laughs> Okay, number four, she touches herself. If she is, maybe she'll do something like, not, not that, probably, this is not, this is not a sexual thing, but maybe she's, she'll do something like uh, this, or she'll kind of like, rub her arm a little bit, or her thigh, it was some, some like very careful kind of sensual movement. It'll be pretty subtle uh, when she does it, or maybe she's playing with her hair or something like that. I don't know, no two women do this exactly the same, um, but it'll be as kind of a smooth, like, touching of herself motion that will just seem a little odd. It won't seem like uh, someone would do that naturally. Okay. Um, number five, she stays with you through tension. So if there's like an awkward situation, like, uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, I was talking to a girl a while back um, and then I was really into her and apparently she was really into me. And I remember just looking at her and I was like so entranced by her beauty and just her essence that I was like, so, uh, and then I had a long pause and I just forgot what I was going to say. And then I was like, fuck. <laughs> and we just both started laughing. But the key here was that through this like really awkward moment where I couldn't think of what to say, she was looking at me the whole time. She was with me through that awkward, you know, tense situation. Typically when people are in situations like that where it gets really awkward, their natural instinct is to try and get out of it. And if she sticks with you through that, that means there's like a large drive or a large um, desire for her to be around you. And if that desire's there, that means she wants to sleep with you. Okay, uh, and the last one, this meshes up very, very nicely with what I'm gonna talk to you um, in the end, which is she's receptive to your touch. Okay, maybe you hug a girl, maybe you high five her, maybe you give her a handshake. There's gonna be a little bit extra. Like maybe you hug her and she hugs you like extra tight, tightly and kind of like wants to feel like her body against yours. Um, or maybe when you put your hand, put her, your hand on her shoulder, 
rather than her kind of like dipping away like that, which is if she does that, like don't touch her again. Um, but if she kind of like, kind of, it's kind of like a more of a movement, it's a slow, I don't really know how to describe it, but she's she's receptive. It's not a ret retraction or she doesn't tense up. If you maybe you get home with a girl or something like that, if she starts tensing up, that typically shouldn't happen, you know, unless she's having an orgasm, which, you know, if, if you're not doing anything, it's probably, probably she just doesn't want to be touched. She's feeling tense about that. So like pay attention to the way that when you hug her or like when you're doing, when you're touching her, um, how she receives you. Sex for a woman is like, the biggest physical surrender that they can give somebody. You know, she's literally opening herself up to you. So if she, if her body is kind of surrendering to you a little bit and she is like being receptive to your touch, that's a good sign that she wants to sleep with you and you, you're pretty good to go. But what you need to remember, and this is true for this whole thing, is that just because she's giving you all of these signs, that doesn't mean she's down to have sex with you right then and there. That means maybe she's thinking about it, maybe she's interested, all of those things are true, but you still gotta check in with her. Even if it's getting hot and heavy and you're back at her place or you're back at your place and you know clothes are coming off and that sort of stuff, like I said, if you touch her and you feel something's up or you feel her kind of back off or something's not right, check in with her, ask her, how, ask her what's going on, you know? No one, I don't think anyone has not gotten laid by checking in with somebody. You know, obviously like, there's a limit. You don't want to check off for, for every single little thing that you take off. Although if you go to college in America these days, they'd have you believe that. Um, but yeah, just, just check in with her. Make sure that uh, she's having a good time and she, it's all positive feelings. Make sure there's good communication between the two of you. Um, and being open and honest about that sort of stuff is pretty sexy. Most people are going to like that and uh, that'll get you laid a lot more. Cool, so if you're experiencing all of these signs, it probably means the girl wants to sleep with you. Um, but if you think of any more dudes, put them in the comments section below. This is something that I talk about heavily in my practical approaching system. So if you wanna get notified about that, the link is in the description box below, click on that. And that's how you get signed up for it. Again, this is probably gonna be the biggest program that I've ever come out with and for the cheapest price as well too. So um, I highly encourage you guys to get signed up for that. It'll probably be coming out end of August, uh, early September. Cool, thanks a lot you guys. Good luck out there.